Hello everyone. It's me, Get Dave, on a new microphone. Let me know how I sound. We're doing Kirby's Dream Course, because I can't quite go back to Dark Souls yet. Still a little hollow right now. Um, this is Kirby Golf. He's the ball. We're gonna we're gonna be a one-up. He's He's also the club. Well, we'll get into it. And let's just reverse this out. Here we go. I'm feeling optimistic on how things are going to go. So we're going to be the one up. Things are A-OK. -okay. Right. It's a nice casual game. I, um, I've i liked it for a long time. I actually, when I was a really little kid, I actually got it from the store. I went. I went to Zeller's when it still existed in Canada and saw a Kirby game. I was like, hey, it's only $30. No one wants it. I'll get it. That was like, back then that was like 20 US as well. Let's see if we can hole in one the first, uh, that's too much. Yeah, I'm remembering this is like more of a 65. Oh, just barely. Like a 70 power. So if you get a hole in one, you get a one up. You can die in this gulf. There's lots of ways. We'll get into the game mechanics as we go. Anyway, I kind of had a resurgence in popularity. Game Grumps got really into it. Um, it's uh, it's good. I will say if you play the multiplayer version, it's a real friendship destroyer. There's just something about the game mechanics that, huh. It's possible to get a hole in one on every hole in the game. Um, I wouldn't say it's super possible for humans on a lot of them. That said, I have gotten a hole in one on this once, or maybe one of my friends. I uh, took it to work and we played it during lunch hours for a while. Back in the day. Oh shoot. Yeah, that range is a little tricky for me. A lot of the time you're right by the hole and just have to tap it in, but when you're like two to three squares, sometimes it's a little hard to judge the power. At least for me. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. All right, this is high jump. See how he's flashing? We can get his power. Um, we're probably gonna shoot over top of him if I crank this thing as hard as I can. But I'm gonna go check our bounce trajectory here because we wanna try to bump into that. Fine fellow. Actually, I wonder. Here's an interesting idea. Could go horribly sideways, but uh, you'll, you'll get to see a thing. I'm chickening out. All right. Let's try this approach. So I'm putting a little side spin on this one. We'll talk about aerial shots lots later. There will there will be many. You can also pump Kirby. And yeah, I didn't quite get the air I wanted. Uh, how best to explain? You can just pump the A button and he sort of expands and contracts and you can do it as you're bumping into a bumper, like on the edge of the course there or that sort of thing, and it uh, gives you a little extra range. So I'm gonna try to really hammer this thing. Not quite full power, maybe. Right about there. Okay, I really wanna hit that arrow. Okay, if we can just hit this arrow, we might be able to do it. Okay, Steph Curry! Hmm, not bad. We can get different colored medals depending on how many shots we take. In course one and two, I should be able to gold fairly easily. Later on, that's just gonna get thrown aside. The game also has a ridiculous amount of content. Like if you gold every, there's eight, eight courses with nine holes on each, or eight. Well, I forget how to check. There's a button combination we can press. Wait, X?
All right, well, anyway, we'll figure it out later. There's eight holes, something like that. Um, eight courses, if you gold medal all of them, then it unlocks the second quest, so to speak. So there's no shortage of golfing, okay? This is a potential hole in one. We need good pumping. This is the tricky part. Yeah, I didn't get the timing done. You need to really time it quite well as you hit the ground. That's all right. Two-shotting that one's fine. We don't get the one-up. But, you know, it's not everything. We'll need the extra lives for later courses. Okay, this is another potential hole-in-one. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to want to hit either the bumper. Or we want to come back this way one way or the other. And we want to high jump when we're back on this square facing the perfect opposite direction. We're going to jump over that Gordo. You can't kill them. Uh, you get hurt and launched on nasty angles. We jump over that. We hit... See where this right arrow was pointing? We hit that exact spot. And since that's on an angle, if I pump, I can... Hopefully get enough speed and take out all those guys. It's gonna work perfectly, just like every shot I take in this game. All right, here we go. Overshot it just a little bit because started getting squeamish. Well, we got way more speed than I need. We should be okay. Boom. Eh? We're gonna say, give yourself a hundred good Dave points every hole in one. Give yourself a thousand if you call it. But you have to call it before I, like, at the start of the hole, before the first shot gets fired. You can't call it after I do the input. Ugh, okay, this one. This one's possible to hole in one. Uh, pretty inconsistent for me, but we'll try it. So here's the plan. And this is just as much me talking it through for myself, because. The execution can be tricky. So we want to go up here, hit the arrow, hit that other guy. We're going to get Parasol, which slows you down, but you can also... You get, like, um, the left arrow is counterclockwise turns, and the right arrow, arrow on the D-pad is clockwise turns. And so you can sort of, sort of, steer yourself when you're in midair. And so we're going to try to curl into that, going neither too fast nor too slow. It's going to be an interesting time. I prefer high jump as a power, but anyway. I don't know, I've overshot, I think. <gasps> Yay! Get Dave points for all! More for some, though. Yeah, we got some good momentum here. I'm feeling good. So, fun fact. Forget if I said it yet or not. Took this game to work. We played it during lunch hours for a bit. One of my buddies. We, we would like take turns and we each had like different, uh, <laughs> if you catch my meaning, different holes we specialized in. And we had a really good run on this one because we were trying to get gold on all of them. And uh, came right down to the last hole, which he was super consistent on. And he just needed to have a bad performance, but he had his worst ever, and so our gold effort was wasted. Anyway, let me concentrate. Actually, let's talk through the hole. Okay, water you sink in like a rock, unless you freeze it with the freeze power, or if you have a lot of spin or a lot of speed, you can skip across it a little bit. So we've um, given Kirby, you can put side spin, which is... You need to use some restraint. You need to be careful with it. You're... You're not in the realm of men, but of gods when you do that. Uh, but forward and backspin on aerial shots is pretty good. Anyway, one perfect shot should be sufficient if I can do it. Oh, I don't think I need to press anything. As a matter of fact, maybe that's too much. No, this is good. No, oh, shoot, I needed a pump. Oh, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, that hurt. 
Also, fun fact, if you let the gauge go all the way up and then come all the way back down, that's your shot. Like, it, it fires at 0% power. But 0% power is actually a little bit stronger than, like, 5. So if you want your lowest strength possible power, you gotta, like, really button mash. Alright, so what we want to do... This switch is going to make the water disappear, don't ask how. Go up here, roll. Ideally hit both of these guys on the way back down. And then on our second shot we'll launch ourselves for the, for the last one. You don't want to pump though. If I need to apply some brakes, I do have the parasol. So I wasn't going to hit him, so I would rather just line up for a clean shot on him then. Make sure we're still hitting him. Looks good. All right. Set sail to the promised land. I think that was maybe too... Oh, no. Oh, I forgot the parasol wasn't going to collapse there. All right, we're still probably fine for gold status. Assuming I didn't <laughs> botch the putt at the end there. So I think we finished with a 13. That's not great, but it's, it's okay. It's good. Fourteen. Hmm. Could go either way. Oh, that's a different log I have. That was with save states. Yeah, we got a gold either way. Time for a dance. Are you, are you feeling good? Kirby's Dream Course. It gets harder. Uh, yeah, the multiplayer in this game, by the way, pretty good. They showed on Game Grumps. There's just something about it that really breeds hatred. There's this weird combination of you can only, like, passive-aggressively mess up the other person or really dick-move aggression. And there's no real, like, sort of honest <laughs> battle between the two. Yes, the... There's no way to be in opposition to the other person without crossing a line. Dunk. As Spark wore off. Oh, yeah, cute little animation. Course 2 is my 1-up grinding course. In theory, we just need a nice 80% aerial shot. Or 90 should do. I might need a pump here. No, uh, yeah, just on the little bounces. All right, another cool hole in one. Seriously, on like level seven, we'll rip through all these. There's some cool tasks of this game, but the shots they take are just ridiculous. Also, what, if you do end up watching like a tool-assisted speedrun or something, what you want to see is one that takes the fewest shots possible, because the most entertaining way to watch the game... Uh, I think I actually want to build more speed first. Spark sort of adds static, is my best way of explaining it. So you, uh, you don't roll quite the same. You get a sticky quality. Get a case of the old sticky balls. Is that right? Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna three shot this. And yes, the last enemy left alive always turns into the hole. Also messes up the timing for your pumping. Oh. It hurts. One molecule too far. That's fine. By the way, after course one and two, for real, this game's gonna go sideways. But in the meantime, 
you know what? Why don't you why don't you ASMR this crap? I mean this quality YouTube programming. Or give yourself a little break. Got a couple skips there. No, not quite right. So on this one, just that shot on 100% power will hole in one every time. A little bit of pumping in the mid adds just the smallest fraction of speed. If I pumped on a bump, it would have been way too hard. Which again, sounds really dirty, but what's completely innocuous? All right, we're doing, we're doing okay. Oh yeah, this one. Okay, this is a little bit of a coin flippy hole in one shot. I think I might have botched it already. All right, we're good. If I can reach the wheel. Oh no, I never thought I wouldn't get there. I didn't take the first shot seriously. I'm sorry, everyone. Public shaming. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know why I botched that, but the camera does curious things. Okay, here we go. So. Yeah, there's no reason I can hold on that one. So you just want to be really careful on getting the pumps on the bout on the bounces so that you can actually reach the hole. Again, uh, just get used to it. There's going to be a lot of that talk. Quite a lot of sailor talk. Okay. I don't know a good way of doing this one. This is like a regular four shotter, to be honest. Now we're gonna end up in the sand trap. When you have wheel, if you bump into a bumper, it's over. Like you go flying off these ramps and all sorts of cool stuff. Okay. So that guide is not indicative of where we're gonna go. Because I'm not gonna full power this one, I need about half to land on that guy. Uh, that might have been not quite enough. Oh no, bullseye, okay. Pump Dave! This is general advice for life, yeah. All right, what we want is just not to four-shot it. Okay, in this situation, there's a couple things you can do. I'll show you the trick. So if you get this exact amount of backspin or the one, one notch below, you almost bounce in place. So if you're a little lacking in confidence on just how much weight to give the shot, you can try to place it. What we want to do is probably a 40%, maybe even slightly less, because I ideally want to just swish this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, we still have a little backup. I, uh, I got flustered right away. That camera, it's all your fault, YouTube. And remember when I said four-shotting it? All right, well, it happened. We've had a couple hole-in-ones. I can live with it. I would be a terrible golfer, by the way. I am a terrible golfer. The uh, mental fortitude would be a struggle for me. I mostly played sports where like you could channel your frustration into violent emotion, like hockey, and it makes you better at the sport. That doesn't translate well to a lot of other ones. Ah, who am I kidding? We're just hitting this right away. Fixed speed. Too slow. Now I have a really awkward situation. All right, pick your waiting, everybody. I'm going to call this... Thirty percent. Let me know in the comments section. Place your bet on this exact hole. Gonna go a little bit higher. I'm pretty happy. Do I need any pumps? Is the question. 
All right, not bad. Again, you want to hit the umbrella or the parasol and really glide around and you can get a nice smooth arc and it's actually quite, quite beautiful to behold. If you nail it. Okay, I think this is our first encounter with grass. How it works is, see those arrows? That's like the, the grain of the grass, the contours of it. So it's kind of going to push us in that direction. So if I were to make this shot, I would end up there. And the slower you're moving, you know, it happens as you're on it. The slower you're moving, the more it's going to impact your trajectory. Trajectory. Yeah. Okay. So we go that way. A couple ticks and wait till Mr. Gordo is out of his way. Or out of our way. I am he. pretty close. All right, now I could kind of muck up my shot, so I'm going to aim just a little bit off-center here. We're just going to give it a little tap. Ooh, just barely. There you go, everyone. Just tap that Kirby into that pretty, pretty little cup. I feel like I need a 16 to, to gold star this one. We might be... We might be having a disappointment run here. Okay. This one is potentially a hole-in-one, though. And if I get a hole-in-one, I think it'll be a gold star. We'll see. Yeah, we don't really want to go too much further than that, actually. Okay. That should be fine. Okay, build speed, that's an air vent, that blue thing. It's gonna give us a little wah pow. I might need the parasol. Boom. Felt pretty good. And now we find out. Did we get the score we needed? Am I on the tour? Is Get Dave, Tiger Get Dave, gonna have a late career resurgence after his personal problems in his mid career. Dang it! Well, uh, hope this sleepy time lets play. <laughs> Found you well. the hole where we got wheel. I think I only needed to improve by one stroke. Well that's all right. The important thing is we had a lot of fun. See you in the next episode everybody. I want to try to see if we can do all the courses. They uh the language might get more colorful as we go. See you there. I said stop recording. <laughs>